guys and welcome welcome to another shootout drag event uh this is a really nice one i chose this time to do the camaro 2015 so as everybody you got all you guys know i'm gonna give you guys the full tune that i use personally for this event um i did pretty good on it i didn't get to win but i did really good um and i hope you guys all like it subscribe hit that thumbs button thumbs up on uh the likes there uh and everybody that's new to the channel like always subscribe let's get right to it guys so the car that i chose this time is going to be that 2015 chevy camaro z28 let's go right over here to the upgrades so what i did was we're all going to get original engines fully built the original engine which gives you really nice 1265 horsepower with a torque of 1,088 foot-pounds of torque, weighing in 3,200 pounds. So, I mean, it's nice. I'm really happy that actually one of the engines that you have that is original engine and they give you a lot of power with it. That's what they have to do with a lot of cars, man. I mean, they got to give it a little bit more power on some of these cars. Like, let's say the Evo, for example, only has 600 horsepower. It needs more, man. We just got to put some more horsepower. With a 1,000 horsepower Evo with its original engine, that will be very, very dope to have. So i recommend it i mean hey let's see if the new horizon 5 was going to give that to us but that is it we're going to leave the original engine on there leave the car where we'll drive let's put the twin turbos in there and now let's go right to the engine let's fully build this engine really quick there we go let's put everything on here race there we go so now let's go right to the suspension we got rally suspension softer suspension really good to distribute that power um, and then no roll cage of course and full weight reducted that's how we get to 3200 pounds let's go over here we need to adjust all these so we're going to put everything to race there we go and then let's go right to the drag tires drag tires is going to be where it's at on the front leave it alone at 305 i mean that's massive front tires but it's 305 in the front and then you got 355s in the rear look at that 355s in the rear holy crap all righty so that's going to be it with that let's go right over here welds i put some welds on there make it look really really you know give it that overall drag look to it um and let's go back out uh, with the tire size leave them alone at 19 and also 19 and then if you guys want to do some spacers to make it look a lot better you guys can put, can put those spacers on there uh with the wing and spoiler there's nothing you can do on that and let's go right to the tune guys so the car is it's a little it's a little it's a little delay on the uh that first initial launch on it it's a little slow one to uh initially come off the line but i mean it's uh, overall traps really nice um the zero to 60 is going to be a 1.9 zero to 100 3.9 topping around 253 I, didn't, I don't think i did the top speed on it but it might top a, a lot higher uh and then here goes the uh, tire pressure 55 in the front 15 in the rear you want all that grip in the rear and then here goes the gears guys 220 284 Two, 150 and 115 it's a nice four gear drag tune there uh, a little bit of positive in the front there i don't want those tires barely giving me um, too much drag on there so you go positive one you don't want those tires barely touching the ground and then you want full tire print in the back you want all those tires grabbing that there in the rear nothing with that in 6.5 65 65 then soft in the front stiff in the rear vehicle raised all the way up to the air and then soft, stiff, stiff, stiff. Nothing with this. If you guys want to do reverse burnouts, more of a standstill, you can put this towards five and 100 and 100. So that is the tune and build. Let's take it right to the track so I can show you guys after this, show you guys the event. You guys are going to stay tuned for the event. It's a really nice one. Alrighty, guys. So the weather looks like it's cleared up. So let's get right to it. Let's get these tires hot there so I can show you guys how to launch it. So what I did is I did a 2K launch and I also did a 5K launch. Uh, I felt a little bit better with the 5K launch uh, on this car. So uh, that's the way we're going to do it. So to show you how to do a launch 5K, press down on the e-brake, which is A. Gently press the gas all the way down. Holds right there at 2,000. I press down on the clutch, on and off the e-brake. Get it to about 5,000. If you do pass the needle, you have to let go of the gas slightly. So you get around 5,000. All you got to do is uh, let go of the clutch and the e-brake and then you just transition those oh it's only three gears i did forget <laughs> it's gonna be 
a real nice 175 miles per hour in the trap speed there almost a 176 right there i mean i can if i could just keep messing with it i can 176 consistently but for some reason i kept getting a 175 i mean i did pretty good with doing a high 175 that it was doing so yeah e-brake gas press down the clutch on and off the e-brake get it to that 5000 and all you gotta do is let go of the clutch and that e-brake there transition those gears right before you go to that red line and then you always do a consistent 175.7 Point 0.8, point 0.9 even, um, so it'll be right there at almost a 176. Some of the guys that I know was doing a 176, so I, and that was awesome with them. Um, but yeah, overall, really, really nice looking car. I like the amount of horsepower they put in the original engine. I hope you guys like the shootout. The shootout is up next, so stay here right now. Let's start that shoot up right now, and like always, remember guys subscribe hit that oh also add me on discord i do have a discord i just started everything all these events that i'm doing is on my instagram so please go to my instagram mars.tuning so make sure to put that dot after mars um, that'll be my instagram there i will be there 98 percent of the time it's an easy way to getting a hold of me uh is through instagram so yeah follow me guys i'll be there and look always subscribe hit that thumbs up and i'll see you guys around in another drag zone video. Peace out everybody. Bye bye now.